My dear students of grade 4, how are you today? I hope you are fine. In this video, we're gonna talk about approximation and we will learn how to approximate the numbers to the nearest 10, 100, and 1000. So, as example, if I have a number like 32 and I want to approximate it to the nearest 10, as it will be nearest to the 30, the next 10 that will be nearest to 40. We're gonna see. At first, we should know that we have two types of numbers. We should learn the weak numbers and the strong numbers. The weak numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the strong numbers here, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we call them givers. Okay. Then, 32. Go to the tens place, please, and underline it. And look at the numbers in the ones place. It's one from the weak numbers or the strong numbers. I think that one of the weak. So two will not give three anything, and three will be the same. And the two returns to zero. That means 32 is nearest to 30, not nearest to 40. Another example, 38. Underline the tens, please. Then go to the next digit that is uh, one's place or the unit's place. The units are eight. Sorry, the unit here is eight. Eight is one of the, the weak numbers or the strong numbers. So eight, one of the strong, the eight will give three. One more and the three became four and the eight return to zero so the 38 is nearest to the 40 and in the same way we will approximate to the nearest 100 if I have 935 please underline the hundred place and look at the three the three will not give nine anything and nine became the same and the three and five the numbers in the ones of place and in the tens of place will turn to zeros another example 167 underline the tens of place the hundred place please and then look at the tens the tens of six six is one of the strong numbers so six will give one another one more and it will be Two and the six and seven, the tens and ones will return to zeros. Okay. Here, another example. Five thousand eight hundred forty-three. Underline the hundred place, please. Okay. Look at the tens. One of the. One of the, weak numbers. Yes. So four will not give eight anything. Eight will be the same. And the tens and ones will return to zero. What about the five and the thousand? The five will be down as it was. It will not change. So we change only the numbers that smaller than the place we want to approximate to. Okay. And the same way we want to approximate to the nearest thousand. If I have a number like five thousand. 835 to the nearest 1000 go to the thousand place please the five and look at the numbers beside it in the hundred place eight eight one of the strong numbers or the rich number it will give the five another one five will be six and all the others will turn to zeros okay another example okay 19247 go to the thousand place please the nine 
Look at the hundred place. Two. One of the weak numbers. It will not give the nine anything. So nine will be down. Tens and ones and hundreds will be zeros. What about the one in the ten thousand place? It will be the same one. So it will be nineteen thousand. Okay. If I have the same number but I have here so go to the thousand place it is nine two so what about the number in the hundred place it's six six is one of the strong numbers it should give the nine another one what about the nine when I give it one it will be ten should I write ten three zeros here and the one in the tens place no it's not correct so if when we add one to the nine it will be ten but we should put zero and the one go to the other place it will be two as we give one to all the nineteen to became twenty thousand that's it I hope you understand the idea and uh, next video inshallah we're gonna talk about the approximation to the nearest tenths and to the nearest whole number thank you